I always wanted to be a researcher and I've always been fascinated by behavior, human behavior and how the brain um, is integrated or organized in such a way that we may experience consciousness, we may have a sense of who we are. This is not the place where I'm working. I work at Washington. This is where I um, administer, I do my administrative job, which is the uh, director of the National Institute on Drug Abuse. But uh, my research, my laboratory is at Brookhaven National Laboratory, which is in Long Island, New York. So there you have a blending of two things. An area that I know very well, which is uh, the science of substance abuse, because that's what I've devoted all my life to. And then the opportunity to have the resources and the position to shift the paradigm, to change the culture. I was talking uh, yesterday with a friend, and he said it very well, Nora is a force of nature. My revolutionary side, I think it's in my genes. I think that my genes are absolutely revolutionary. On my father's side, um, being my father, the grandson of Leon Trotsky, who's a revolutionary, and on my mother's side, who actually, her family fought against Franco on the Civil War. So from that side of my family, also I have uh, that need to question and to have convictions against the authoritarianism or abuse of others. There's a Nora Volkow style. The Nora Volkow style is direct, um, unwavering, to the point, and determined. She's a person that has a high social awareness. At the end of my position at NIDA, I like to be able to say, as a result of this effort, we now, for example, have a greater involvement of the healthcare system in the treatment of drug addiction. As a result of this work, the notion of dealing with a person that's addicted to drugs as a criminal individual to put in prison and not provide any treatment or infrastructure that will lead the person to just come back and back again into the prison system, that that shifts. And the third one that I'm very interested, in, which is the concept of medication development. There's been two areas where we have the greatest advances. One is vaccines for nicotine, and the other one is a vaccine for cocaine. Whenever I do something, I do it compulsively. There is a basic essence on me that is very, very driven, that is very hard for me to control. And sort of says, Nora, calm down, look around, enjoy things. It's not so simple for me to do. But that's not the choice. That's the way that my brain is wired. It's a very good way also to take off responsibility, but I think it's, it's accurate.